get away is a phrasal verb and in this video we look at four different meanings of this one phrasal verb. Get away is the next phrasal verb in this phrasal verb series. Uh, for more information on phrasal verbs generally and why they're awkward for learners, please check out the first video in this series. Anyway, as per the rest of them, we'll go to the computer, look at the on-screen presentation and then come back. Get away. We look at four different meanings of get away here now. How we conjugate get away. Infinitive, to get away. Present participle, getting away. Past tense, got away. Past participle, got or gotten away. Use get away in the sense of escaping someone or something. And the verb is not separable. Sometimes we use it as a noun, namely get away. So the thieves are getting away. Stop them. Her dog got away from her during their walk in the woods. And now one where we use the noun, the robbers escaped from the scene of the crime in a getaway car. You physically move away from someone or something. We use getaway as well. And here the verb is not separable. If the dog is barking, just get away from him. Get the kids away from the water. Doesn't look safe. Use get away in the sense of to travel or to go on holiday. And here we're not separable. I managed to get away for a weekend in Paris. I don't think we'll be able to get away this year. The last get away is to escape punishment or be acquitted of all the charges. Often used with a, a phrase scot free. And here the verb is not separable. Due to a legal technicality, the robbers got away scot-free. Or well, the bankers ruined the economy, but somehow got away with it. And scot-free, it looks as if scot is an old, old term for tax. And so scot-free is without having to pay your taxes um, originally. But it's used here in the form of uh, punishment. So a very common expression to get away with something scot-free. Did you know all four meanings of get away that we showed in this video? Or do you think we missed one? If so, please let us know in the comments below. You'll get an answer. And also if there's a particular phrasal verb that you'd like me to look at, please let me know also. And I'll push that to the top of my list. So see you next time. Bye for now.